Hey everybody, this is Sean. In today's video, I'm gonna be taking you through creating analytics profiles for AdCloud activation and reporting. So within this video, we will be creating participation events, mapping analytics journey profiles, identifying new analytics events for AdCloud bidding, and then how to map these analytics segments to the AdCloud. Quick introduction on journey profiles. What we're trying to do is we're trying to map out a typical journey a user may take to get to your end KPI. So we have different stages and this might be different for every client, but something like awareness or interest or engagement based on the actions a user is taking on page, we're able to profile these actions and bucket them into journeys. So how that might look is different KPIs per different journeys will help us identify that. So by the end of this exercise, you will have individual segments or each of these KPIs that we then bucket together to create our master profile list. Something like this uh, will be created, a profile awareness, a profile research or a profile purchase flow. And you can see each of these segments that make up these broader segments are individual KPIs that were uh, created while mapping the process. So some benefits that you will get out of this exercise is you will be able to use these segments for audience manager third party lookalikes. You'll be able to create really robust advertising cloud uh, reports based on how the ad cloud is influencing this funnel. And then you also discover new events to help power your, your algorithm. So let's jump into Adobe Analytics and I will show you how to do this. Right now I'm in analysis workspace. Uh, what I wanna do is I want to begin the process of discovering the pages that are most influential on my end goal. So for this particular example, I will be using online orders and I will be using page type uh, to discover where that is. So you can see here, I can actually see where my online order events fire. So it fires on the order confirmation page. For other clients, this might be more difficult to discern, but for the most part, look for page name, page type, or just page as a prop, and you'll be able to help uh, gather this information. So the very first thing I wanna do is I want to create this online orders as a participation event. So I can stack this next to it. I can then update the attribution from uh, last touch default to a participation. This will expose all the pages, if I sort it down, by the most influential pages that participate in an online order. Now that I have a list of all the pages that are most influential in my online orders, what I wanna do is I wanna find the events that fire on each of these really important pages. This will help me create my weighted objective within the ad cloud for my placement bidding. So the first thing I'll do is I'll go to the metrics side and I'll start to look for events to drop into this free form to see where they fire. So let's start with internal searches drop it next to online orders, see where this fires. So it fires here on the search results page, which is pretty high up there in the pecking order. So I wanna make sure that I'm using this event for bidding. Next one I can look at is maybe chats initiated. See, this is an event that might be important for us. Fires lower down on the funnel. Uh, so may not be that important in terms of using it for bidding, but let's start to drop some of these more on it. So I want product views. I wanna put my checkouts and my checkout step twos. So I can almost see that as I add these events to the page details that they are stacking on top of each other, which is a good sign. This means that these are important events for me to utilize for my bidding. Now the next step of this process is to begin to bundle these actions into journeys. So what we wanna do is we wanna find our awareness hits, our research hits, our purchase flow hits, based on what we see here. It's never gonna happen where these funnels flow perfectly, right? So what we wanna do is read into the page types, read into the events and discover, well, I know if they're in this page, they're more in the awareness play, right? So for the home page, which is very important, home page we're gonna say is part of the awareness. If they hit the home page, they're aware of our brand. So what I can do is I can right click on home page, create a segment, Start with awareness and then home page visit. We'll make this a visit profile and then save this. I will continue this process until I've created all my sub segments so that they build up into an overall awareness profile. So I might have three or four sub segments 
in a single profile. Let's do another example. So for product details, I know that's more of a, a research phase. So let me right click that, create a segment. You can call this research on the product details page. Create a visit segment and save that. What we can do after all our sub segments are created is then begin to bucket them into bigger profiles. So the way I would do that is go to segments, hit this little plus button here, create a segment. So for this one, I'm going to create my profile for research. So you can see here on the left, I have all my research sub segments. So paid product views, product shares, product reviews, if people are doing these actions. I want to say, well, if they do any of these actions within a visit, I'm going to bucket them as a research visit. So I can drag these all here. I can say or because I want to say anyone who does any of these actions, I'm going to consider them part of this, this funnel. And then I will have my research. What you can do from this point is you can share this by clicking this button here, make this an experience cloud audience with audience manager to do lookalikes or directly with the ad cloud for direct retargeting. This unique visitors up here will give you a sense for how many people fall into this bucket that you can begin, begin to target. So at the end of the day, with a final result, you might look like something like this. I'm going to have segments for each of my main profiles. So awareness, research, purchase flows, how many visits are flowing through them. I can even do trends in terms of are we up or down from last month or last year. But then what else I can do is I can take all those sub segments by visits, stick the next profile on it and say, well, what's my awareness overlap with the next step and what sub segments help with that the most. I can continue to do that for research into purchase flow, purchase flow into purchase action, and then create some really cool looking Venn diagrams here to, to utilize it. Within the overlap, if you want to do, well, let me target the overlap of awareness and research. You can click on the middle portion here. Right click it, create a segment, and it will create the Boolean logic for you automatically. So for this example, I have people who are in awareness in and research, make this experience cloud audience, send it to audience manager, send it to the ad cloud for retargeting purposes. So I hope you find this video helpful and you guys can start to utilize this tactic for the ad cloud. So in summary, we learned how to create participation events. This allows us to expose participating pages to our main KPI. We were able to map those analytics profiles by the web journey. We were then able to identify custom events that are going to be powering the iCloud bidding. And then we were able to map analytics segments to the iCloud.